Hi, I'm Meryl, the founder and CEO of Big Ninjas. In yesterday's video, we looked at invoicing in Zero, and I have a couple of tips for you around where to look to see outstanding invoices and the where to run the ADRC rules report. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the chart of accounts, and you can find that by clicking on accounting and then scrolling down until you can see the chart of accounts. And the chart of accounts is a list of all of the different accounts and it's split into assets, liabilities, equity, expenses and revenue. And these accounts are, so all of the accounts together make up the chart of accounts. And individually, these accounts can be coded to when you have a transaction that's come through a bank account, you allocate it to one of these accounts. And I'll quickly give you a demonstration of that and then show you the result on the profit and loss, or in some cases it may be the balance sheet if the account is one of the balance sheet accounts of assets, liabilities, or equity. For example, this transaction here, Cooper Street Bakery, I'm just going to type in the food, Cooper Street Bakery, new contact, and then the what, where the, these list of accounts here are all within the chart of accounts. I'm going to code that to obviously expenses. This account is, um, this client is not registered with GST, so we'll ignore that. And then so office expenses. Then if I click accounting and profit and loss, and then we're going to have a look in the office expenses account. Click here. And we can see that the transaction that we coded at the bakery is in the office expenses account. I'm going to go back to the chart of accounts. So I click accounting and then chart of accounts. And then here we are back to the list of all of the accounts. And this is where we can edit we can archive or we can create new accounts. And by spending some time on your chart of accounts, you can customize this so it's more relevant. And the reason that you would do that is because you want to have reports such as a profit and loss statement that is relevant to your business. So I recommend spending some time reviewing this chart of accounts with your bookkeeper or your accountant to get some advice to make sure that it is fully customized to you. And over the coming weeks, we will be running an Improve Your Cash Flow course and coaching program. And as part of that, we'll be doing a deep dive into how to customize your chart accounts. So make sure to check that out. And finally, here is a link to our Tidy Up Your Zero uh, five day challenge toolkit. And you can find that at beninjas.com slash zero toolkit. And that has some, some ideas around how to improve what they're doing in zero. Next up, we're going to be looking at consistent coding. Thanks everyone.